Hey guys, I couldn't find any YouTube videos on debugging an Astro application, so I figured why don't I show you guys how I figured it out. Now, with Astro, you have a separation of client-side JavaScript code that can execute and server-side JavaScript code that can execute. And the example I'm going to roll through is this is the Astro blog, so if you go to astro.com and go through there, blog tutorial, it's on their docs. So if we go to like Astro Docs, they have a build a blog and when you finish it, you build this blog. If you go to their GitHub here, you can clone it and get exactly where I've gotten. So all I did was I went to their GitHub repo and I cloned the blog and, and this is what we got. All right, so let's get into it. The first thing I wanna show is this index.astro page represents this page. The home page is your index.astro. And anything that's in these, uh, in this area at the top with these three dashes, I'm separating them, this is server side code. The idea being this code will execute to create the HTML files. This is sort of like server side templating, but the, the user, the client, the person in the browser, this JavaScript never gets sent to your users. It's only run on the server. And this is in contrast to something like in this scripts directory, we have a menu.js file. And I believe this menu.js is imported inside of the base layout. Yeah. In the base layout, we have a script tag and it's importing the scripts menu.js. And all this does is it allows you to show a hamburger menu when you make the screen smaller. So if I go in here and I take this home page and I make it small enough, we get that little hamburger menu. And when I click this, we're executing the menu.js file, and that is client side right here. All right, so in VS Code, you can, I'll, I'll provide a link so you can copy what I have. We have two different launch configurations. The first one will be launching the development server, and the second one will be launching Chrome. The first configuration will allow you to hit breakpoints inside the server side, in the server side code. And this one will let you hit breakpoints in the um, client side code. Let's just start with this first one and we'll sort of chat about it for a second. I'll hit a breakpoint and we'll see it working. It's going to run the astro dev command. That's very similar to if you were using like pm pm dev or if you're using npm npm run dev, it's going to do that. And let's. Let's run it. So let's do, I've got them. Once you add these two here, you get a little drop down when you go to the little uh, play and debug menu. So we want to choose the development server one. We'll hit play. And you see it says like debugger attached. So that's kind of letting us know, hey, we've attached a debugger to this development entry, uh, into this um, development instance and it's running on port 4321. And here we are on port 4321, and let's hit some server-side code. In our index.astro, we have a page title, page description, and that is what we're seeing here of this, this home page. And then what does this description say? Uh, this is the home page of my blog. This is the home page of my blog. So essentially what happens here is it takes these variables, injects them into the template, and then the whole HTML is shipped to the client. So let's hit a breakpoint here on page description, and I'll refresh the page. And yeah, we immediately hit the first breakpoint, and we see that the page description is undefined. We, we haven't hit, we haven't gone over this line, but we have the page title here in its home page. And this is super useful if, if you have code that is server side, you can debug it by running this development server with the debugger and you can uh, go into your debug console and, you know, take a look like what does the page title look like? And 
its home page. Great. Now, I'm going to play this through, and this just lets it keep going. But what if we want to debug inside some client side code? And that would be like in our menu.js file. This is that one that's going into the hamburger menu and toggling the state from expanded to not expanded. If I hit a breakpoint here and we go over to the front end and hit this, we're not hitting any breakpoint. And the reason is because this is code that is running client side. And the only way to debug that is to actually hook a debug instance to a browser instance. So now if we go to this play here, we've already started the development server. That's the one that's running here, but we can just click in here and choose launch Chrome against localhost and hit, uh, let's actually make sure we understand this. So this is going to launch Chrome and point it to, you want to make sure that this port number matches whatever is running in the terminal. So these are matching 4321, 4321. And then it's going to be watching files that are in the source directory so that we can hit breakpoints for ones that are in there. Uh, this is some kind of fancy stuff going on with V because of the way it's compiling and running the application. It needs to hit the right code, especially if you're using TypeScript. And we want to make sure we're not watching anything in the node modules file or not node modules folder. All right, let's do it. So launch Chrome against localhost. I'll hit play. And yep, so that is running right now. We're on this uh, Chrome instance. I'll go ahead and full screen this. Oh, actually, we'll, we'll need to activate the hamburger menu anyway. So. We go back here. Let's take a look at our breakpoint again. All right, so we haven't hit the breakpoint yet because we haven't hit the hamburger button. And let's go here. Now we got the hamburger button. So let's hit this and I would expect, yep, boom, it fired back over and we're now inside client side code. And now you can um, uh, do stuff in here and find out what's going on and inspect of course you could have a, a more complicated client side javascript file and uh, yeah there you go if you want to make this a little smoother you can go into your launch dot json and add like a third one and it would be called there's a name for this it's something like a combined runner and essentially you'll be able to just choose one item in here and it will run both the development server debugger and the Chrome debugger at, at the same time. So essentially it'll start your application. It will also launch Chrome. I don't always need to debug the client side and server side code at the same time. So I typically am usually just running one of them, but in the future I may add an extra configuration that allows me to launch them both at the same time. So I hope that was helpful. Again, as a recap, this is the configuration that allows us to debug our server side code. And that's anything inside these index uh, or anything inside a dot astro file between these and between these dashes up here. And then our second configuration is for debugging anything that is a client side code. And that would be something like a plain JavaScript file that you're importing inside another file and running it where this will be shipped to the client and it is running on the client's machine. Hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and happy astroing.